Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a big time Thursday on FIBA 22 today because we are going to tackle a very big question. Can we invest in the Fantasy Foot Team 2 cards that go out of packs tomorrow? Now, this is the day we've been pointing to. Earlier in the week, I've said, wait till later, wait till later. We are at that point. These cards really have not moved that much in price. Today might be a day where we find some dips and see potential rises after they go out of packs into this weekend because the potential for upgrades starts tomorrow, April 1st. So I want to talk about that, but also there's a little bit of a fear and a little bit of, um, I don't think this investment in fantasy foot cards from team two is going to work out as good as it did for team number one. So I want to talk about that in this video as well, as I think a lot of these cards might end up being over-invested in because team one did so well. And in reality, once these cards start getting upgrades and hitting those, uh, what do they call them, qualifications for the upgrades this weekend, I actually think you're going to see some drops in price. But then again, we also don't have any promos leaked at the moment. We don't have any crazy information for what's coming on Friday tomorrow in terms of another promo, nothing about team of the season. So what's going to stop those cards from rising as they get upgrades and people want to use them, right? That's what we have to kind of talk through and navigate. It's kind of a tricky situation. I think there will be ways to make some profit, but it might be a pretty short hold. So I'm going to talk about that. And of course, today's content on Thursday after a very, very quiet day of content yesterday on Wednesday, getting an SBC for a ball. Yes, I even did the SBC, but that was our content yesterday on FIFA. We had a, an SBC for the Premier League third ball. That was like it, besides a Silver Stars player. It was a slow, slow day, but I think it's gonna pick up a little bit today, so we'll talk all about that in this video. So if you're excited to think about investing in some Fantasy Foot Team 2 cards, hit a thumbs up on the video, and of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, let's talk about some of these cards. First thing I have to say is, you guys know the prices of these cards, right? They're even running the late night lightning rounds. Like right now when I'm recording this, 2 a.m. UK, there's some 86 plus star packs, I believe, that are running right now. And these cards literally have not dropped in price. Sissoko is still 470, Bamba is still 300K, um, Atal is still 215, Martial is down like 10K, Awar is down like 20K, but not that big of a drop. These cards have maintained very, very steady prices and they've risen up throughout this whole entire week because there's nothing to hold them down. No really insane content, no leaks for an insane promo coming tomorrow, no team of the season voting leaks or anything like that, which is kind of unlike team one, right? If you remember last week, a lot of people invested on these cards on Thursday because we had leaks about an insane team too, including Coutinho, Dembele, Sissoko, Atal, right? All those leaks were out last week, which didn't help these cards um, last week on this date of Thursday. So these cards from Fantasy Foot Team 2 don't have those risks or that pressure at the moment of upcoming content holding their prices down. So all this week with the content being a little bit lackluster, they've gone up in price. Now, I think today with multiple different times of pack supply incoming, you might have an opportunity to invest in these cards, but are these cards really going to rise that much out of packs? That's the question that we have to ask ourselves here in this video today. Do these cards have enough hype? Because um, you know, are they going to rise up out of packs based off of the hype for the upgrades like team one did? These cards are obviously rare. We know that. Nothing, nothing, you know, these cards are very rare, just like team two. Nothing changes from that, from team number one. But with the upgrades coming as soon as this weekend, we have games tomorrow, like Vertongans, the first one uh, who Benfica plays on Friday. He has the potential to get upgraded uh, like first. And, you know, he's, he's he could be getting upgraded here very, very soon. So, with a lot of these cards, the games actually come this weekend. So, if these upgrades, if these cards are expensive, because of the potential plus one and plus two, plus three, these cards could get. I think when a team does kind of hit the threshold or hit the qualifications for the upgrades, these cards are going to drop off in price, in my opinion, because people are going to sell them after that upgrade kind of happens. We see it all the time in this game with headliners. Uh, it even reminds me of the what if promo from last year. If you guys can take a step down memory lane with TFA for a second, who remembers this what if and Babu card, right? This card came out into packs first weekend that it was out. It got the upgrade. It met the criteria. These cards got upgraded on Wednesdays last year. So this Mbabu was low. He started off in the 400K range. I think he was even like 300K. He exploded up into the weekend as everybody was expecting his card to go higher with the upgrade that he was going to get. The upgrade came on a Wednesday and he absolutely died in price. He got destroyed because the upgrade happened and there was no more hype for that card, right? 
all of the hype that we have on these items right now is that they have the potential to get upgraded. So regardless, if you, if you buy these cards or if you bought Fantasy Foot from Team One, I think that if your card plays well this weekend and the card price surges, it's time to get out because once the upgrades happen, these cards are going to drop in my opinion. Now they could bounce back after they drop, but I think so many people have invested and they're waiting for those upgrades that you're going to have to sell then. So looking at these cards from team two, yes, a lot of them have risen from where they were earlier in the week, right? So Soko was 410,000 coins on Sunday. Almost all of the cards have the same exact trajectory. Bamba was like 270, right? He's now 300,000 coins. So Guys like Awar, I think Awar was like, yeah, I bought Awar for 780. He's now 840, right? Coutinho was 2.3. Uh, Dembele was is still kind of down, but he was like 4.4 at one point. Martial was 710. Um, Atal was 190, 195. So a lot of these cards have gone up a little bit. So what we're looking forward to today, and this is our day, the best opportunity that we have uh, for this to happen is we're looking for just a, a little bit of a drop, right? Just a little bit of a drop. Sissoko was 440 yesterday for a slight bit of time, and he's now risen back up. Um, you know, even this LR card has reached peaks of close to 900,000 coins. But for me, I need this card as close to 800K as I can get it. I, I really would love, I know there's a bit here at 821. I would like to get this at 800,000 flat if I could. Um, and I'm just hoping for today on Thursday, to see a few of those drop-offs in price because that would make me feel a lot more comfortable uh, with these cards rising up out of packs and me putting some coins into them um, is if they do have a bit of a drop today. So that's kind of what you're looking for around the division rivals timeframe uh, early today or around marquee matchups. Now, one thing I will say is that I think a ton of people want to invest in these cards based off of how Team 2 went. I don't know if these cards are going to have as insane of a rise as Team 1 did. Yes, I don't think the Team 2, two cards are going to rise as much as Team 1, but I do think that they will rise from people investing, right? You guys remember last week, live on stream, when the marquee matchups SBCs dropped, you saw cards like Rusillion go from 130,000 coins up to 140k almost instantly. Now, obviously, he's back up. He's almost 170 now, but people started investing right away last week at the marquee matchups time frame. They didn't even let the prices drop on the cards. They started investing right away, especially on the lower tier ones. So when you look at the team today for team two, guys like Atal, guys like Alexandro, if you see these guys drop before rewards or some of the lower tier end cards like Vertonghen or Hincape or Alvarez, Marino, Sirigu, Rodrigo, Pedro, any of those cards that are like less than 200, 150 to 200,000 coins, those are probably going to start to get invested in the fastest and the quickest because people with more uh, smaller budgets can invest in those. But I think the ones that performed the best from last week in team uh, number one were the more mid to higher tier cards. Kamavinga exploded. Gelson Martins exploded. You know, I could see the Sissoko card being 500K on Saturday, um, you know, heading, heading into the Watford game, even though they play, I'm pretty sure they play Liverpool. Um, and, and that's also what it comes down to with these cards. Will they rise out of packs into this weekend for like a short two to three, three day flip? It all depends on if their team plays good. If they have that potential to upgrade, a plus one or a plus two will raise the hype. Um, it, it all depends on how they perform this weekend, really, in my opinion. So that's what you have to look at with some of these cards, right? Atal has a decent matchup, but they're playing against a really good team in the Serie A, right? I think they're playing against Stad Rene, right? Third and fourth teams in the table. You know, you've got Bamba. I think he's got a game this weekend. Arsenal's got a game. Um, you know, you just have to kind of look at the individual matchups for these cards and say, hey, does this card, number one, is it hype for FIFA? And number two, um, does it have a good, you know, matchup for the game that it has when league play resumes again this weekend? So it's going to be a bit of a risk. And, it, you know, I'm not going to put a ton of coins into these. But again, if you kind of co combine what we see right now is it looks like it might not be a promo weekend on FIFA. It looks like we might not have a new promo starting on Friday unless we have some new leaks coming out today on Thursday uh, or a new loading screen or something like that. For a lot of these cards, I might buy a few of them, but I'm probably not going to buy that many because just again, I really feel like the hype on these cards is, is the problem. There's a lot of hype and yes, there's, these cards are live. But I think there's a lot of people that are going to invest. And I think if you hold on to these cards too long, it's going to end up to buy you. But again, the combination of no content, 
uh, with a promo potentially not coming out, maybe just some SBC releases coming out. And then these cards having the games this weekend, I do think you will see them rise. So kind of invest at your own risk. If it's a buy for your team, I mean, you, you saw this graph that I showed you of Mbabu, right? Yes, I know it, it doesn't make sense, right? This Mbabu went from 500K down to 326 after this happened. Now, I think one thing that's different about the fantasy foot cards is that these cards are more rare than those what ifs were last year but all i'm saying is i think that especially on a lower tier card like let's say van de beek scores a goal this weekend and everton win or something like that right just as an example i think that van de beek would drop off right i think he might drop off down to like one he might go to like 180 or 190 then drop back down to 150 and then start to get rare and rise back up after that you know it's it's just going to be really curious to see how these cards react to goals being scored, to upgrade requirements being hit, and if people start selling after that or if they spike and then sell. I think that's kind of how it would be. Um, and I would imagine these cards would, just like the what ifs from last year, EA seems to do a lot of these types of upgrades on Wednesdays, right? They just updated the Luis Diaz. I don't know what I clicked on there. They just updated the Luis Diaz um, card from yesterday giving him a plus one because of his inform right that's been the day when they've done these these upgrades and updates to live cards so i would kind of keep an eye for these cards to get upgraded on wednesday but if they get upgraded on earlier than that then that would even you know reinforce the fact that if you're investing in any of these cards from team number two it's probably got to be a quick flip so if you're going to flip any of these cards this weekend just pick the ones that are popular, that are rare, that have good matchups, um, and you might see some initial rises, and then I think you will see some drop-offs after that. So I, the only reason that's making me a little bit skeptical, again, like I said, is I think that after these cards reach a point where they're going to get to their upgrades, I think they're going to drop off in price, and I also think that a lot of people want to invest in these. And that makes me want to invest in them a little bit less. So if you really want to play it safe, maybe just be careful this weekend uh, or today. I think today is going to be the day that you would have to buy, though, unless we have some big time leaks and something crazy happens tomorrow and Friday. Um, you know, I think today is going to have to be your buy day. Now, you could also think about the potential of EA Sports putting both Fantasy Team 1 and Team 2 back into packs for like a third week of the Fantasy Foot promo. I mean, that has not happened. I don't think it's happened at all this year. It used to be a thing back in other FIFAs where they would do team one, team two, and then put both teams back in packs. Don't think they would do anything like that because I also think we would have more leaks for SBCs if that was going to happen for more player SBCs. Uh, but maybe not. They also, again, we've been tossing around this potential foot player days, right? Foot player days would be a promo that would destroy a lot of the market. Um, and I know a lot of people have been thinking about that. Um, but we have no confirmation. I think there would be leaks about that coming out too, if it was going to be, uh, starting this weekend. So again, it's a bit of a, it's just, just a questionable time, right? All signs point towards investing in these cards would be very good, but also there's a lot of signs pointing towards, uh, the fact that these cards could be very overinvested. Now I am stoked here for EA sports. They upgraded John Stone's price range, which I'm very happy with. Now I did buy uh, three of these. So right now I think John Stones is like 550, 540,000 coins. That's up another, what is that? Another 60,000 coins from where he was, where he was extinct. And that, that to me, that's, that's, that's expensive, man. That's really, really expensive for John Stones. So, you know, I know a lot of people have invested in this as well. How many of these are like 550? Is he actually selling a 550? Not really, but you know, I might try to take the cash and view these just because that price is fantastic. I've made, you know, if you invested in any of these cards from Team One, Team One was the better investment by far. You've seen the rise in these cards; they're they're absolutely crazy. Um, so I've got a freshy stones here at five at three ninety one. So I'm gonna take the cash on this at five fifty. I mean, you might be like Nate, this is stupid. You're, these cards are gonna go to like six hundred k if they keep a clean sheet. I'm I'm happy with the money right now. I would rather just take some of that money and not risk it. Um, and um, potentially have a sale there and take my guaranteed cash uh, and go with that. So I'm taking the safe route, I think, this weekend. If I do see some good enough price drops on a few of these cards, you might see me go in on a couple of them. But again, invest at your own risk. And also, I, see, I could see people investing in these cards this weekend because there's nothing else to do, right? If there is no content, I could see people investing in these fantasy foot cards, like I just said, because there's nothing else to do. And when people are bored, they invest. It's a fact. It happens on FIFA. So just be careful with that. Use caution investing with any of those Team 2 cards. Whatever you do, make up your mind. Have fun. Gamble a little bit if you want, uh, but also be smart if you want to. Coins are pretty precious right now heading into Team of the Season. So just be careful with that. Now, 
Again, today on Thursday, we do know at least one piece of content that we will be getting today, and that is going to be this SBC that was leaked. This SBC right here, it was leaked a couple days ago. We are going to be getting ourselves the Medina SBC card. If you guys remember, this is the center back from the league on. Let me scroll down and find the card right quick. He is a nice green link to uh, the Fofana and the Klaas. So medium, medium work rates on this card. Hopefully the stats are pretty good. I think we'll see some more information on him today. Um, that could affect some of your league one center backs. If this is a really, really good value SBC, I think of... Um, denayer right off the bat he's 362,000 coins he was 370k if this card comes out today and it's got really juiced stats and it's really cheap you might see some people that would sell a card like this or some other center backs on the game could be hurt a little bit in price um just because of that so that's kind of one thing to kind of think about as part of our content today on uh, thursday also i think the last like two or three thursdays we've had an 84 plus player pick released as a part of the content i think we might get an 84 plus player pick today uh some of your low tier fodder could actually end up doing pretty well so that is not a guaranteed piece of content for today but it of course is something that we could see and then again normal thursday content marquee matchups right this is why a lot of people will invest on the cards for today is that a lot of people are going to go do marquee matchups and people will be like oh my goodness that's tradable supply for the market we also should have more lightning rounds today on Thursday, which would make it, I think, eight days in a row of lightning rounds on this game, which is crazy. EA is really going after the bag, but I could see them doing it uh, and I could see them running more lightning rounds today on Thursday. So, you know, just watch the prices. If you like the price of these cards, if you see some price drops, you can get some snipes during that division rivals rewards time frame, um, especially on the lower tier players. Like I think some of the lower tier guys have actually dropped a little bit tonight um, in price, like the Vertonghen, like the Siragu. You know, Vertonghen's like 24,000 coins. I think he was like 26 or 27 earlier. So if you see price drops with rewards and you want to take the gamble or today with the supply on the Fantasy Foot Team 2 cards, go for it. Have fun. Um, and then again, we'll see if we have any leaks. If we end up having a lot of leaks for the content uh, coming on Friday, tomorrow, then I do think that you would end up seeing you would end up seeing a lot of panic selling. So that's one thing to just be careful of as well. Is if there are leaks, I do believe that would create some people not wanting to invest in these cards. So that's going to be our only spots of you know risk at the moment with these Fantasy Foot Team 2 items. Um, we talked about the content coming today. Now let's talk about yesterday a little bit as well. I did complete some nice flips. Last night you saw me have three Torres. He is a little bit down, but I was able to make about 25k per card on these lower tier ones. 75,000 coins of tax buying them at around um, 1.4 mil flat. And then I bought this one also at 1.42, sold at 1.53. So some good flips yesterday. I did buy some Luis Diaz because this is one little fluctuation I'll teach you guys about right now. Um, Luis Diaz and these headliner cards, I bought these at 230 to 240. So what happened was this guy got upgraded. I sold the other ones that I had yesterday in the hype. And then he went down because a lot of people had invested in this card. They expect it to go up, but actually it goes down. And this Luis Diaz is back up uh, 247. I will take that. Thank you. He was just back to 270K like 10 minutes ago. He's pretty rare and a lot of people want to try him after the upgrade. So that's something that happens often when you have fluctuations like this is you have a card that gets upgraded that people have invested for. They sell it off after the upgrade if there's not enough hype to push it higher. And then it kind of bottoms out two to three hours afterwards. And then it bounces back up from people that were undercutting for those investments. So this is Luis Diaz. I'm hoping that he goes up a little bit more post rewards today, maybe like 275 to 280. And then I will probably look to take my quick flip on that brand new upgraded 89 rated Luis Diaz. So that's kind of one thing that you can watch out for with these cards. You know, that's even looking ahead a little bit into the potential upgrades we could have later on this weekend or into next week with some of these fantasy foot cards. If you see them drop a ton in price, after a game that has earned them upgrades or something like, or after the upgrade comes out usually, then there's probably gonna be some bounce backs after that. That's gonna be a really great place to trade on the market in this next week on this game. Now also, just a quick little account update. And I know you don't, I don't update you guys a lot on what's going on with my team and my club and everything. I finally finished the Mbappe player of the month. I finished it yesterday. We did the math. I think I ended up spending around like 300,000 coins 
to complete this Mbappe card, which is nice. Very happy to get it done. The team looks cracked, of course. Now, last thing I want to check is fodder. I know you guys are like, Nate, what in the world are you doing with your fodder? Yes, I still have fodder in the club. Yes, fodder still keeps dropping because there's no content. But if we do not have a promo this weekend, if we do not have a promo and there's no supply, if, if there's no promo, that means no supply, no lightning rounds, there will still be SBCs. Fodder is going to do amazing next week if there is no promo you're like nate why there's no promo there will still be sbcs there will still be icon upgrades there's still going to be sbcs that are expiring in the, the sbc section that people will be doing and trying to get done and without the supply we have icon uh, moments player sbcs that are out there as well without the supply of the constant lightning rounds these cards will do very very well so that's kind of the next thing that we could be looking forward to and if you want to buy more fodder if it really looks like we're not going to have a promo we have some other showdown sbcs that are still leaked to come out right the mckenny and brozovic that's still potential right we ea always does packs uh, upgraded like the player pick campaign bag player pick they could do some of that sort of stuff this next week even if they say no promo week so that's the kind of stuff that you could look at even into tomorrow we'll probably talk touch on fodder again in tomorrow's video as we're looking at the market and as of course we cover what has gone on today with all the fantasy foot cards that's just kind of something to keep in mind if you like fodder if you like investing in fodder that could be something to watch out for so again watch the fantasy foot cards today there's going to be a lot of people with eyes on them if you see dips in price take action i mean it's not not even if it's a, a really big dip like i was hoping to see martinelli go back down to like 5 five twenty, right and martinelli is probably not going to get down there right it's his only special card it's a four star four star upgrade really nice upgrade for him 540 at the moment okay you know if i could snag one of these on a bid or on a snipe at 520 with this lightning round you know, or if he drops down with the, the marquee and the lightning rounds tomorrow, that's the kind of thing you'd want to look for. Boom, the 540 gets bought. So we're going to be watching these cards a lot today because it's going to be a lot of eyes on them, but also for the potential for them to rise out of packs. It's going to be an interesting day on FIFA on the market side of things. So let me know down in the comments after kind of hearing this, talking through it, what do you think about Fantasy Foot 2 cards? Are you going to invest? Do you think they're going to do as good as Team 1? Or... Do you think that there's going to be some over-investing like we talked about? Is there going to be potential to lose some coins? I'm just happy they upgraded John Stone's price range. Let's freaking go, EA Sports. Get in. Uh, so maybe I'll, I think I'm going to get these out before people wake up today and, and start selling them off. Is he he's still 547? All right. I have mine up at 550. If that sells on the hour, then it'll be a GG. But I'm happy with that, right? I'm happy with my profit there. And a lot of the other Team 1 cards are just so high in price. I would be happy taking that profit if I was you as well on a lot of those cards. So again, let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, smash the thumbs up on it and subscribe if you were new. It has been Nate to put account and I will catch you guys later. Peace.